Hi, welcome to another episode of how do I install a certain flow builder action. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can install an action that will enable you to create personalized images. Um, a lot of people are looking for this and now this is the first one that will actually enable you to do this right from inside your ManyChat flows. So let's get started and I will show you everything, how you can do it and what it will look like. So this is the first screen. This is um, in the App Store and you can read all about the app by clicking all these tabs right here as well as a sample flow that will also be there and if you have any questions of course always contact me you can do that by clicking any of the contact information links in the end it will look like this as you can see right here this is a sample and as you can see it says congratulations and then my name I will show you how you can do this and it will be very easy. So let's get started. The first thing you do is click the install app button right there. And that will take you to another page inside your ManyChat account. This is the page in your ManyChat account. And what you do is you click install right there at the bottom of the screen which will take you to an overview of all the pages that you manage. And when you select a page and click on it, you will get to the next screen, which will look something like this. All we need is the chat templates license key, or if you only use it less than 50 times a month, you can of course use this free code right here. Just enter it click save and your app settings are ready to go. Then I suggest you install the flow that we um, have given you with this app. So it is very easy to get started because then you will have a sample of course. So the flow will look like this when you install it. And I will explain to you what it all is. First of all, you have this starter message. I'll just change this message right here. Start, see caps locked here. Start flow. So you just give your subscriber some information or maybe it's part of an of a bigger concept where people uh, well get a coupon or whatever it is you want to personalize the text that we use on the image for now is called test field of course you can name it coupon or whatever you want i will show you where you can um, assign that later it's in the app action so next you go to the action menu you can of course create a new action from this screen right here but since we already have one i'll use this one you can see we already selected it but if you want to have a new one click your action button scroll down to the bottom and there you will find it or any of the other actions that you might have already installed the funny part is you can of course combine all these for example you can create a woocommerce coupon and use the coupon field as the um, value on the personalized image it's all very flexible you can do whatever you want with it so create or click this one select the action click this and there you will find all these 
settings. It's not too much, it's very easy. You just have to enter a URL right here. So this is the URL to your image. I will show you in a second how you can sort of hack ManyChat to get a image URL. I will show you that in a second. The text on the image, you can do whatever you want there. You can use a custom user field or you can use fixed things or a full name or whatever it is that you want. The font, there's a couple of fonts right here. I would suggest you just test the one you want. I like signature because it's handwritten sort of. The color of your text, of course, uh, make it uh, so that it is in big contrast with your image. As you can see right here on our image, we used pink or you can use white or whatever or yellow, but don't use black because of course it won't look that great. So the position of your image or of uh, the text on your image. Yeah, I have to change the wording for this. It's the text on your image. So this one that you can see in the phone on the right, it's the lower left. So it's left bottom, bottom left. This is the one that we used. And if you want to offset it a little bit to the top or to the right, uh, this is the image size. Yet yeah, let's just make it really big. Or it kind of depends on the size of your image. If your image is, for example, 600 by 600 pixels, and you want to use a quarter of the image, like the lower left quarter, it's like um, 300 by 300, obviously, because that is like a quarter of the image. And this is the one that I meant earlier. If you want to offset the text a little bit, suppose you want to say, I don't want it to be all the way to the bottom left, you just, for example, use 20 pixels up and 20 pixels to the right. I think that's what we used there in that image. If you want to tilt it a little bit, you can just rotate it. And this is the one where you, we used test field. So this is actually all you have to do to make this work. I will show you how you can get the URL for an image if you don't have one available on your own server or hosting space or wherever. And I will do that right now. As you can see right here, it's in your sample flow. We just created some sort of node here. That's a sample image. I will just rename this sample image. This one, if you just don't connect to anything. It will just be like an orphan, so to speak. So it won't be used in your flow, but it's actually very helpful because if you use this image URL, you always know what kind of base image is being used in this flow. And I will show you how you can get this URL for this image. It's really, it's actually pretty helpful. So, Let's have a look. If you click this image or this, this node that you usually do, you just click create image. Let's just do a whole new one. And you just upload an image here. I will just do this from my screen. Hold on. Okay, so I found this image. It's a bit, it's a bit of a silly image, but uh, it's the first one I could find on my computer. So uh, it doesn't really matter for this purpose. So. What you can do is you can right click on this image, then you click, uh, you, want, you can't see that on my screen right now, but there's a pop-up window. You can just click inspect or use control or command shift I. And if you click that or type that in, you will get this in inspector. And as you can see right here, the one, the section that is also already in blue. And it's also here on the right side. As you can see, when I move my mouse pointer over it, 
it will actually show it. You can just select the HTTPS until the file name extension. Just click copy and that is the URL of your image. So you don't even need hosting, you can just use that method. It's really helpful, it's not rocket science, so I assume everybody can do it. And I'm just deleting the old action and go to my already existing one with my demo image. I will just create this one, change the position of the text because it's now at the lower left as we could see. I'll just switch back to the demo of it right there. As you can see, you can, you can make all kinds of cool stuff because you can use this backslash n, which means it is a new line. So you can use custom fields as text in the image, which is actually really great. So for the Christmas image, let's say Merry Christmas, like this. Merry Christmas and the image had something on the left in the middle so we are going to put our text on the right side in the middle so it's right in the middle and the offset is not needed maybe a little to the left if we could do that I don't think so mm, no okay so we just keep it at no offset do we want to rotate it? Yeah, sure. It looks great if you tilt it just a little bit. Test field, we keep that. We click Save, Publish. And now if all goes well, we should see this green image with our text, Merry Christmas and my name, right here in pink. So let's just change the color of the text as well to, for example, yellow or white. White is fine. Save, publish again. And now we're going to run the preview and hopefully everything will be exactly as planned. So let's go to the bottom of this. Of course, something happening there, what? Looks like it's a bit slow on my end because I don't see it change. Let me see why I'm not getting the preview. Okay, it turned out my connection to my phone and my screen is just slow. So here it is. You can actually already see that it's working. We'll just run it again. Of course, I want to see what I want or whatever the text is like. Of course, we use the many Merry Christmas right now. And here you go. Merry Christmas, Paul. And you see my name. If you think it's a little bit too much on the right side of your screen you can do two things let me see how i can go back to my screen okay so if you want to change these settings so it's a little bit more centered or a little less to the right you can also just put the text in the middle and then offset it to the right or maybe you can make the image or the text section a little bigger like I said the this section you can make that for example 300 by 300 I think your text might be bigger you just have to figure out a couple of times what's the best output for your own image because it will differ based on what image you use 
And you only have to do that once because if it's or when it's right for you, it will be right for all the images that you will create after that, of course. Well, this is kind of like the same, but you get my point, you know how it's working now and I wish you all the fun with it. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you need a license, you know, you can get it at chattemplates.com. Thank you.